Say you told the FIA to stick their offer where the sun don't shine. Just don't make the call to Reed. We'll find another way. Do what now? Message. Didn't see it? They want to wipe me. Need me to explain the ins and outs? Come on, you knew I'd fight for my life to the end, no matter the price. It's obvious to you as it was to me. Call me a chump, but I never thought I'd be that price. Come on, V. Don't make the call. Figuring out something that might work versus a surgical procedure. Choice is clear, Johnny. Reason read on the hollow. Meeting point. You there? Bet I am. Actually eager to be clinic bound. Maybe he's on his way. It won't be long now. So this is how it ends. How else do you see it playing out? It's my body. Hmm. And it's my life. James Weiss, FIA. I guess you're V, is that right? If I may? It's an honor to meet the man who rescued the president of the NUSA. Where are we going? An agency clinic in Langley. Got our best specialist stationed there. So hang on. Everybody know about me and Myers. What about plausible deniability? Burying shit, why not? Officially nothing happened, but water cooler talk goes deep within the FIA. Word spreads. Where's Reed? Didn't make the trip with you? He got held up on assignment. Not to worry, you're in good hands. Come on inside. Doc Lozano will evaluate your condition, make sure you're stable. Expecting nothing but the NUS's finest, Mr. Weiss. Osano, pleasure. I'll be among those operating on you. Let's start with a quick nervous system scan. You mind giving me your personal link? Hope there's enough of those tatters left to scan. <laughs> the damage is apparent, but... Looks fixable. Another new lease on life. Mind opening the door? Want to enjoy the view. Don't worry, you'll be back here in no time. Never be too sure. 
Just open it. You shook my hand, Weiss. Indulge me. Human meat grinders. Survived it once. Do well to remember that. If you're ever tossed back in again. Don't feel like I lost, though. Shame. Maybe you oughta. Why? Because I finally got what I fought tooth and nail for? V, you crapped out. Congrats. Can feel proud of what you've become. What the hell you want from me, Johnny? Acknowledgement, decency, a sprinkling of regret, and an apology. You want an apology for me choosing to save my own life? No, V. An apology for fucking ending mine. Live, Johnny. I'm clear about that from the start. There were options. Could have gone with Alt. Blasted our way into Makoshi. But I didn't. Can't fault me for picking the safer route. You want me to act like this? Us. Was just a big nothing burger. And we'll just drift off into sweet slumber. Except only one of us is waking up. You deserve it. Going out like this. How the fuck so? Enlighten me. For starters, you're a narcissist and a sociopath. Only way you can live with yourself is by believing you never do anything wrong. Pinning the blame for your mistakes on others. Know the worst part, though? Nah. But guessing you do. Actually could have been the fuck the system, gung-ho rebel king you so like to think you were. But you self-destructed. See, I didn't kill you. Nor did Arasaka. Your sheer fucking arrogance did, Johnny. Always were your worst enemy. You. Your hubris. I've got readings spiking. Strong emotions. Let's do this. We want your brain burden-free. Never know how stress might affect it. You done? Really, really hope I'll never see you again. Made mistakes. I admit it. We all do. But if you think I wanted to be a hero, then you don't know jack shit about me. to speak with you. V, you in there? You scared me, you know that. I think you had nightmares. He screamed a few times. I don't know what I would do without you. Take care, B. And I would not want to cock this up. You weren't dreaming, B. Those were memories. Wake up, B! Afterlife. See you there.
Hi. They're opening. I think he sees me now. V, can you hear me? Clarit. Voices. Lots. Was that you? Me, doctors, probably some dreams. Doesn't matter. You're awake now. Are you... That you... Seem... Different somehow. Even... Almost look like... Stay at Langley long enough, it, uh... Makes you its own. No exception. Nice. Nice view. What? Out the window. Mm, greenery, calm, birds chirping. Not what you used to. Was told you got a new job. New duties. Lots of them. Busy bear. No time for me. Who said that? When? Wise. In the AV. You weren't there. Right, that. Wasn't any reason for me to be there then. Now? Yeah. I felt I owed you this. Now, how'd you know? When I wake? Doctor's estimates. You were supposed to be conscious by today. Tomorrow latest. They started bringing you up a few days ago. Controlled process. So, how's life? How's things? Ah, uh, paperwork. Training recruits. Nothing to write home about. Now your style of work sounds like... I can manage field work anyway. Not anymore. I need to ask, how's so me? Everything work out all right? I've been cut off from updates for a while now. She's alive. That's all I know. Putting in a personal appearance. Bad news, gotta be. Just tell me. Surgery was a bust, right? Never that simple. Doc saved you. You're alive. Hearing a big ass butt in there. Cause there is one. Deep invasive work on your nervous system. To cut the Angram out safely. What's that even mean? Your neurons can no longer handle most implants. Chrome. Your brain can manage your personal link and simple code processors. But any use of a combat implant well, could kill you. I'm sorry, V. But the life you used to know is gone. There's uh, one other thing. You were out for two years. It's 2079. <laughs> Imagine the future would look a little different. Joke. Shit, I'm impressed. <laughs> what good would it do to raid your reality? Don't see any sense in it. I wish I could help you, V, but I can't. Same shit. Always. Peeps want to help me. Never been able to. Why? Are you... You, you all right? I need... I need... Need some air. Oh, 
Legs of Joey. Can barely stand. Been laid up for two years, V. Damage my nervous system. <laughs> can hardly believe it. Why didn't they use nanobots? New matrix. Apparently, you reduced your cells' regenerative capacity. We tried everything. Really? What? What about my chrome? Your implants had been deactivated. It needed to do it. Your survival depended on it. Need to get out of here. And see, when can I go back? Today, if that's your wish. But you should ask yourself... Preen, where's my stuff? B, listen to me. Your body... It ain't going back to what it was. And Nancy's a city where you just won't manage. Not anymore. Why the hell you care? We truly appreciate what you did for us. We can set you up with a job here at Langley. No. Offers like that. Not ready for him yet. Understood. I still wanted you to know right off that you had the option. Look, my world just shattered. Like, in a splinters. Really think I can plan my next career move? Besides, this isn't my life, Reed. But it could be given your old one is long gone. Please stop pretending you care. You don't want me here. Neither of us does. Going home. Back to NC. Yeah, sure. Your call. Once you know where you're headed, call the nurse. And if you change your mind, you know where to find me. Reed, this story, we do the right thing. Could we have done better? I don't know, V. And I won't try answering. Just plain afraid. Jude. V. Where you been, Jude? NUS clinic. Had the uh, surgery. It's a long story. Must have been a long operation, too. Gruesome. Bloody. Spent most of the time in a coma. Unplanned, obviously. Wow, V. Thought I'd never see you again. Should be dead, I know. Good news is, finally found a way to excise the biochip. What? How? Telling me Silverhand's out? You're gonna remain uh, yourself? Forever and ever. A hundred percent V. V? That is beyond Nova. So damn nice to know some stories actually get a happy ending. Dealing? With some drawbacks. I, uh... I'll never fully recover. I'm alive, sure, but... Got no idea what comes next. Shit. 
Are you serious? Really sorry, V. Hope you figure it out. Get yourself set up again. Sounds like you're angling not to be part of it. Mad at me for disappearing, right? No. I mean, sure, I was, but... Finally decided you'd have pinged me if you could. Now it's just... The... I'm in Pittsburgh, and I'm married. If you ever hop to the other coast, come on over for a beer, but now... Really can't help you. Shit. Miss so much. You know, if you hadn't vanished, don't know that I'd ever have left NC. Or met Bianca. Maybe I should have ghosted sooner. Come on. You know it's not like that. Well, bye, Judy. Really hope our paths cross again someday. Me too, V. And good luck. Someone grinding your gears again? Holy... V? Or is it Johnny? Won't be hearing from Johnny anymore. Ever. You mean... he's... he's... Yeah. <sighs> Shit. Weird. Losing someone a, a second time like that. Sorry about that, Carrie. Yeah. Well, still f glad you're around, yeah? Think about me ever? V. Fetch your ass, I did. And do. But Ben, look like you were gone for good. Hell of a time for me. Oh. Wish you were here now, sitting pretty on a crystal in Dallas. Played a gig yesterday, had a beautiful view of Europe. Yeah, huh? Aiming for cozier landings right now. Okay, Spill. Sums up. Really want to talk face to face. Uh, oh, sounds serious. Think we can meet up? Uh, can't now. I'm on tour. It will be a while. But if the hollow is enough, I'm all yours. Well, just woke up from a two-year coma. Gee, shit. Can you not, Joe? I'm on, I'm on a call. Is that not clear? Yeah, care? Do you yeah. hear what? Yeah. Did you say coma? Yeah, got surgery. That's why I'm alive. But didn't work out. Not completely. Damn, I'm sorry. It sounds like shit. You need anything? Uh, Eddie's maybe or um... first thing that comes to mind. Eddie's. You know, for meds, for treatment, or whatever. Can't treat it, Carrion. Gonna have to live with it till what I die. What the hell did I say? You As long as it's all harmony. Carrie, you hear me? We're saying. Hey, 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 hey. Chill. I want to help, okay? Looking like everybody needs Carrie. Wants a piece of you. Yeah, it's a crap coincidence, you know. Lots going on. Shit luck. Yeah. Shit luck. Want to help, huh? Why don't I believe you? Well, kind of odd question, huh? No, I just I know you want to help. But you'll have interviews after the tour, recordings after the interviews. Care hand on heart. Am I still part of your life? Yeah, uh, listen, V, 
in the middle of something, kind of. I gotta go. They're calling me back on stage. Uh, yeah, you, you wanna shoot the shit later? Hit me up on the hollow. River, it's me. Me who? Wow, uh, wasn't expecting that. Yeah, well, old cops carry suspicion in their back pocket. The V.I. knew wouldn't have waited two years to return a call. What'd you expect the year after all this time? Dunno, maybe something like, wow, glad you're not dead. I was in a coma. They just woke me up. Oh, shit, V. I... Sorry. Here I am being a fucking asshole to you. You okay? Getting this vibe that something's wrong. Honestly, everything is. What's going on? I needed money for Randy's rehab. So I did a deal with trauma. Sold them a pile of police secrets. Dirt on whoever they wanted. Clearly didn't have any other options. How could you possibly know that? I know you. Would have done it differently if you had a choice. I don't know. I'd like to believe that, but... Fuck, River. Now I feel bad. Can we meet... Help each other out. Too late for that. What? Rather not see me? <laughs> Look. I'm not the man you used to know. Couldn't stand to look you in the eye. Not you. Not... What am I blabbing for? I gotta go. Wait a sec, River. or call again later. Hey. Hey, old Pan Am. Guess who's back from a little, uh, involuntary vacay. <laughs> but bad jokes aside, guess you must have wondered where I'd gone. So, uh, brass tacks. I had surgery. Docs just brought me out of a coma. Gonna live. New lease and all, but... Not on the greatest terms. It'd be great right now. Really great. If I could see you. You find a moment. Bring me back. Yeah? See you. Soon. that fast <laughs> gotta admit I knocked back a glass or two over your symbolic grave but how are you uh, why so this netrunner I met got me involved in this FIA op they promised surgery a cure using the runners tech in exchange and it worked but not without complications 
Two-year coma for one. God damn it. That's a chunk of life there. Yep. I mean, they saved me. New lease on life, but... Chrome's a no-go for me now. Even simple muscle boosters. Is that what they told you? Quacks, I bet. They overlook something. I just know it. Come see me, V. <laughs> At least I can still count on you being there for me. Huh? What do you mean? Uh, I already hollowed someone. Seems not all my relationships stood the test of time. People move on, V. But well, sometimes some of them come back. Be on my way to see you soon. Usual spot. Yeah, in a manner of speaking. I'll see you, V. You know the address. How can I help you? Night City. Can I get a flight there? Of course. An AV is ready and waiting. I'll come get you now. Back on your feet. It's nice to see that, finally. V, did you get that? My question? I asked if you find the liquor I procured for Mr. Vector suitable. Yep, perfect. Exactly the one I had in mind. They're gonna love it. I'm sorry, uh, zoned out for a sec. It's good to have you back in NCV. Heh, <laughs> NCV. Rather nice ring to it. I'd wondered if we'd embark on any more journeys together. Though I can't help noticing you seem somewhat absent. Might I ask how you feel? Like an outcast. Feels like just yesterday I was part and parcel of this town. Now I'm a goddamn tourist. If it makes you feel any better, I don't believe Night City has changed all that much. How's life as a single car treating you? It's neither here nor there. I am as father made me. Wonder what he's up to. The essence of his being has transcended the limits of my comprehension. It can simultaneously be anywhere and nowhere. How'd you survive for two years without an owner? I stayed in a parking garage, but that got very boring very quickly. But then I began ferrying food to my destinations, just like Father did in his time. And you took their money? Oh no, never. I wouldn't know what to do with it. I merely asked them to fill me up. Think we could swing by my place? Sure. Let me just pull your address now, and... Oh? What's up? It looks like you were booted out a year ago. Unpaid rent, apparently. I'm afraid I can't fulfill your request. Oh, fuck me. Man, been a while since I was last here. What else has changed? The talk of the town is Arasaka pulling the bulk of its operations out of Night City. I imagine you might wish to hear the latest news. I shall turn on the radio. And now, this week's scorching hot question, Yorinobu Arasaka. 
What happened? Joining us today, Masao Adams, author of Arasaka's biography, A Dragon Tamed. Glad to have you on the show. It's a pleasure to be here, Stan. An Arasaka spokesperson recently announced that Yorinobu has stepped down as CEO. True or big fat baloney? Well, Stan, we're talking about a man who once went into voluntary familial exile to join a nomad clan in direct conflict with his own father's agents. The idea that someone like him would yeah, remove themselves from the now, picture thanks. is just right Huh. Guess Saburo was right. The nail that protrudes from the wall gets hammered. Perhaps Yorinobu wished to be something other than a good son. Or maybe folks are using conspiracy theories to explain away his incompetence. Certainly also a possibility. Better get going. And, V, a word of advice. We all lap up the last of our fuel eventually. But that hardly means the journey wasn't a joy. Hey man, hold up. Ah, oh, come on. Do we gotta? You're not from around here, are you? And you are. I is, yeah. Congrats. Wins you a shit short childhood and an even shittier death. Say what? Welcome to our Zeta Tech Network Clinic. How may I help you? What is this? <laughs> the chimes, incense, candles. Where are they? You're sure to find something of the sort in town. I'm not asking about that. Esoterica shop. That's what this was. Well, apparently, not anymore it isn't. Misty Olszewski? She here? No one by that name is employed here, no. Misty worked here two years back. Gotta know something. It's a new branch. Sadly, I'd never met the previous owner. Here to see Victor. Mind if I go through? Do you have an appointment? Yeah, private one. Ah, right. I see a note right here. Please hurry in. The next patient is due to arrive soon. Vic, <laughs> so good to see you, old Ripper. V. How long's it been? <laughs> Depends on your point of view. <laughs> You're making a habit of this, rising from the dead. I actually thought I'd never see you again. <laughs> Come on. Gonna make me cry, Vic. What would be wrong with that? Anyway, got you a little something. They have this rule, no drinking anywhere in the clinic. I could get reprimanded. Ooh. But hang on a minute. Oh, same one Jack and I knocked back. Championship bout for the middleweight title. Malone versus Kano. Remember it as if it was yesterday. Good to have memories. It grounds you. Yeah, good times. Things changed, no denying it. 
Jackie's gone. So is Misty Sharp. <laughs> and all her sense. <sighs> all right. Come on. Hop in the chair. What you actually aim to do? We'll start with a solid scan of your body. Relax. This'll take a moment. So... Misty... What happened? She, uh... Moved out not so long ago. Well, almost. It drops in occasionally to collect another box of straggling sundries. Visits are rarer and rarer, though. So, no drinking after all. Relax, we'll raise a toast. Let me fix you first. Really think this could work? Rather avoid any false hopes. You'll be fine, trust me. So tell me, what's it like to be back among the living? What can I say? The world, life, they moved on. Didn't wait around for me. You're all I got left. I know where you're coming from. Reach my age, you can find you have nothing in common with those you considered near and dear. Your case, age ain't exactly the only change. What are you trying to say exactly? Your clinic. What happened? Seems... colder somehow. Less... cozy. I don't suppose you're talking about the new AC. You know what I mean, Vic. What can I tell you? Corporate standards, guidelines, recommendations, you match them. End of story. But I dare say I managed to retain a smidge of individuality. What the hell happened, Vic? So many years resisting. To let them buy you out now? Why? They piled the pressure on V. I mean, anonymous threats of arson included, over and over. I ran out of options. I had to do what was best for the clinic. Always got a choice, Vic. Always. If that's the case, I'd like to believe I chose well. Tried to buy you out before, right? You always said no. What changed? I just got tired, V. The tide's strong, so strong, I just can't resist it anymore. Former clients never liked Corpo, as far as I remember. They still come around? I've lost touch with most. Unfortunately, it's like we started speaking different languages. Right. I see. Must say, I hoped you'd say something else. Asked Misty what she thought before you signed? Of course I did. What'd she say? Well, she said a lot of things. She is the sensitive sort. Changes unpleasant ones happening all around her. She stopped feeling good here, and no wonder. I miss her. Hope things work out for her. Hope they work out for all of us. Hey, Vic. Why'd you choose to become a Ripper? Call it my youthful rebellion. All my friends at the time were gunning to be somebody. I helped them, fixed them, their bodies, minds. Though, actually, just postponed their moment of their irreparable destruction. Yeah, Corpos burn out fast. Fast as hell. Well, I don't get attached to them at least. Vic, <laughs> sensible as ever, and with achievable dreams. I never could settle on those. You'll learn. If you say so. Well, your core looks fine. Good even. Let's take a look at your motor cortex. Hmm. K-9 
can't say I like that. Hmm. First time I've seen anything like this. Your cortex seems to have turned deaf to implant signals. Maybe reinstall the neuroport firmware. No, no, that did. Maybe switch to binary signaling. That's a risk of shock. Life threatening. You said kind. you can do something, Vic. I. I was wrong. I'm sorry. Please don't worry, Vic. Didn't come with high hopes anyway. Not good. You have to believe there's something out there for you. Self delusion? That's what you advise? No. I just want you to accept your reality. You've changed, yes. But you're alive. Look at me. I had to adapt too. Still doing what I most love though. Should I start aiming lower too? Could be the key to happiness. It's not easy settling. With time though, you realize you no longer remember why you wanted it any other way. Oh. <laughs> what if I want to remember? Wish I knew what to tell you, kid. Vector, come on quick. I ran into trouble. Need surgery. It's <clears throat> Ah, are you running late? I can't now, Tyler. Drop in tomorrow. Drop in tomorrow? This is my friend. No affiliation to the firm. Come back later, please. It's important to me. <clears throat> you got it For wrong. Years. Customer. I only have customers now. Vector? Hello? I'm waiting. <gasps> got a patient, Vic. Don't worry about me. Ugh. V. You can't know how sorry I am. Vector. Hey, swing by to see me anytime, yeah? Of course. Of course I'll drop by. Close the door on your way out, okay? I need to look to Tyler's pressing problem here. Guess you landed in some kind of shitstorm. What can I tell you? Well, well. See that, Jimmy? He a corporal Chill, rat. Chill, man. Easy. Come on, hand over your scratch. Let's go. Not a suit, not a corpo. Take me for a fool, fool? Clinic you just waltz out of Zeta Tech. Eddie's player, now. Not a good time, Chumba. Like I give a shit. Give me money. Piss off, or your brains fry to a crisp. Uh, I don't know about this. Go on, hack away. Give it your best shot. Nothing? Thought as much. Booyah! Ugh. Ugh. See? you uh, misty easy now are you in one piece damn no chance i'd recognize you on the street that jacket you're wearing jackies yeah you look almost the same a bit wilted maybe but yeah time kind of stopped for me what's up with you 
Feeling okay? What are you even doing here? We heard you moved out and on. Pretty much. Just got some things to wrap up. But tell me, what's with you? Honestly, I feel fucking hopeless. Just got thrashed by two lame ass thugs. But why didn't you defend yourself? I couldn't. I. <laughs> Long story. Oh, is that the relics doing? I know I should be worried, but honestly, I'm just so glad to see you. Don't seem surprised by any of this. Last two years have been... intense. Not a lot of things surprise me anymore. Look at you. Nah, not a lot of luck in my life. Missed you so much, Misty. <laughs> Though it feels like I saw you last Tuesday. Just two years, V. Blink of an eye for the universe. It must be hard for you, I know. But hardships pass, too. As all things. Not quite that simple, Misty. Everything's changed. Fucking everything. You saw what happened. Can't even stand up to a couple of random dipsos. Where do I go from here? You'll learn to live like us regular folk. Avoid dark alleys, run when you hear gunfire. Not much more to it. Huh. <laughs> that your bread and butter? Welcome to the world of the faces in the crowd, V. My ride will be here soon, but I still got a minute or two to talk. I really missed you, you know? Come by to see Victor before leaving? Vic said you weren't okay with the changes. Said you'd... Oh, parted ways. Yeah? Interesting way of putting it. Actually, I told him he'd gone soft, and I had no intention of following suit. Where are you going? Orbital layer terminal. Then to Poland. To this really ancient forest there. Setting out to find yourself? Find some work, actually. I'll roam the wilderness. Ticket hikers for feeding candy to bison. I need a break from the city. And the crowds. Man. Of all people. Never thought I'd see you leaving Night City. Strange story, actually. You know what made me decide to leave? Um, Jackie's passing. I was in a really dark place then. But no, that's not it. My favorable store burned down one day. Went there to buy some white sage and saw a charred mess instead. It was then I realized nothing's the same anymore. Jackie was gone, hewed up and ghosted. Decided to close the esoterica on the spot. I couldn't help other people find balance if I'd lost it myself. I'm sorry, Misty. Wish I could help you, I do. You have helped. By staying alive. No one, Misty. Thanks. Likewise, V. Could use a smoke, too. Here. <sighs> Gotta say, never imagined you with a cigarette in hand, Misty. Takes the edge off. Just started needing that. Then on what comes next, Misty. What to do? Nothing makes sense anymore. That was me yesterday. Had no hope anything good would ever happen to me again. But it did? 
Mm -hmm. Turned out that an old friend of mine is still alive. <sighs> Doesn't matter. My life's like I was a minute ago. <sighs> Flat on its ass. Like it was when you came back from Atlanta? Like after Compeki? Like it probably will be again? You might see this as odd or extraordinary. But life's about changes. Unwelcome ones, too. Hmm. FIA offered me a job. Well, it could be a place to plant your butt for a while. What are you thinking? To me? It'd be early retirement at a desk. Retirement does mean rest, I suppose. I still think you have other options. Probably lots. Know what? I think you're right. No point in giving up. Maybe... <laughs> Don't know, I'll... Be a fixer. A change in your outlook's what you need first. Won't make it otherwise. Faces in the crowd. Their world, V. Remember that. A face in the crowd. So, somewhere to start anew? Gonna go looking? Dunno, Misty. Feel like I'm at a dead end. Could turn on my heel, choose a different path, I know. Not ready for that. Not yet. You can choose. Enjoy it. You're a free man. Once you make up your mind, I really hope you find... joy. My ride will be here soon. Walk me to it? Think you'll be back ever? Depends. I'd rather not plan too far ahead. So probably not. Yeah, no. I don't think so. Again, I guess. Hope so. Oh, V. Do you still have that pendant I gave you? Huh. I must have misplaced it. Don't go looking for it. Doesn't matter anymore. beat the biochip, and in a manner of speaking, Johnny. <laughs> Love to throw us for a loop, don't you, kid? The word is it cost you rather dearly. Sorry to hear that. Truly. Used to be quite a lot of talk about your exploits at the afterlife. 
Even had a few folks gunning for you to have your own concoction on the menu. Maybe we leave them secure in their convictions. Maybe that's better. Don't get me wrong. Doors always open. You'll always be welcome at my club. But your legend? Well, could wilt a bit more with each visit. Give it a think. Not as if we'd ever forget you, you know? I know you are in Night City, and in good health. No more biochip in your head. Congratulations, V. Much time has passed. I did not know what to tell you. I needed the words of old samurai. He expressed my thoughts. Good, strong medicine is bitter to the mouth. When you disappeared, I and Hanako-sama confronted Yorinobu, his allies. We tried to capture Arasaka Tawa. We could not. They were strong. Hanako-sama is dead. I am called her murderer. I have been hiding for two years. My life is now the trash heap where I found you. I wish for you to know this. You are very strong medicine, he. V, hey! Uh, I'll keep this short, huh? Uh, listen, it's... It's nice you tried to reach out to Pan Am. It's, it's good to know that you're, you're whole, you're... You're all right. But, um... Well, don't expect her to return your call, no. And and then don't try her again, if you can. When you uh, disappeared, it took her a while to get back on her feet. She's she's not one to get attached, but when she does, the hurt comes damn easily. Uh, now, I know it's not what you intended, so... I'm counting on your understanding. You shouldn't do that to yourself. To her. So just... Don't call. I look back at times on what happened. Think about you, Songbird. We did right. That I know. Why do I keep asking myself if I could have done things differently? You saw what she's capable of. I had to stop her. And maybe, maybe punish myself. Is that it? It fucking hurts, but it should hurt. Shouldn't it? Avi, it didn't quite work out in our last talk, huh? What do you say to giving it another try? We'll drink some beers, watch a legacy fight. Downtime to look back upon fondly in our new lives. They're looking to redo the clinic. Sending me off to Frisco of all places. <sighs> new beginning for everybody, I guess. Though I have to say, some proper closure could make it all easier to bear. It would, for me at least. You think you'd be up for that? 